Are you ready to introduce these teams? Give me the, give me the user analytics, Felix. I want to know, like, their place of birth. No, never mind. I want to know the strategies. Walk me through it. In the blue alliance, we have 6627A alliance with 62F. So you have been having a consistent strategy throughout the elimination matches. 62F usually fills up the alliance mobile goals with rings first, and 6627A puts them on the platform. So you have won every match in the eliminations to get here. Um, they have very good strategy and very good driving. In the Red Alliance, we have 21S and 1138A. They have also been very consistent with their mobile goal strategies since they are all mobile goal robots. They get to the mobile goals very fast and uh, take them for the rest of the match. Felix, I think I love you, but we'll talk about it later. Right now, we gotta worry about the finals match. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The final three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, go. That dominant autonomous from that 21S robot's gonna start in style as they pick up one. But 6627A, stopping them from getting that second one. Two near misses, two ships passing in the night. And Auton goes to red thanks to that 1138A pickup. Driver control will begin in three, two, one. 62F takes a hold of the Alliance mobile goal and scores rings on them. 6627A opting not to get that large goal in their back intake, but rather a smaller one, switching up their strategy from earlier in the tournament, perhaps throwing off this red alliance a little bit, but 62F not wavering at all, continuing with their ring dominance that they bring in every single match. 6627A grabs onto the Alliance mobile goal and tries to score it on the platform. 21S does the same with their red alliance mobile goal. And it looks like the Red Alliance has answered. There's a 62F ring dominance. There's going to be that goal dominance as they put one of those on the platform, but not to be outdone. 6627A is going to put another one up on their side, this time with rings. That little edge, it's the little differences that can make a big difference in these match here. 55 seconds left in the match. Red Alliance seems to have a dominance in this match with more, ro with more mobile goals in their zone. 6827A, however, gets away with murder as they bring one of those goals. Two of those goals make it onto their side, putting one of those up. Not going to count for points, but will definitely lock that down. 1138A gambles it and tips over the platform. No rings come off, and we enter protected time. Ice water in the veins as we enter the 27 seconds. More goals on this blue alliance side. The red alliance will have to show up in these last 20 seconds if they want to bring this back. I don't know if they can, but I sure am excited to find out. 6627A holding onto the corner. 10 seconds left in the match. Let's see if Bulu Alliance could rebalance the platform again. They'll have to push together for these last five seconds. They get three, two, one. And that is your Robo Bonanza Finals. All right, so it looks like we got a result, and we'll see who wins our third annual OC Robo Bonanza. Melody's gonna tell you the score. All right, looks like I'm the one who's gonna release the score. So, um, unfortunately, there was a rule violation with SG3. SG3 states that during the last 30 seconds, whether it's transitive or direct contact, you are not allowed to touch the opposing alliance's platform. And doing so uh, resulting in a non-match play, in a non-gameplay affecting manner will result in uh, a credit for another parked robot given to the opposing alliance. Henceforth, the final score would be 96 to 75, red wins. All right, Red Alliance, 1138A, 24S, 21S. Congratulations, come, come on up, get your trophies. Congratulations, congratulations. 21S, come on up, come on up. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Congratulations. 